are at Embedded World 2022. I'm now on the Infineon stand with uh, David Egan. Um, now, we were talking about matter. Matter is the new thing that everyone's talking about, um, but not totally sure how it's going to affect all of the electronics of today. So can you give us a little overview of what matter means to Infineon? Sure. I mean, ma matter is really uh, going to harmonize the smart home, right? It's, the idea is that we have a single language that all of the devices in the smart home are using, irrespective of what technology they're using to communicate with. So for instance, right now, uh, there are Wi-Fi and Thread over 802.15.4 products that are going through certification uh, to be the first product certified for Matter 1.0. And Infineon has both Wi-Fi and Thread 15.4 products going through that certification process. The, the big thing about Matter, you know, there are, there are always two sides to a new technology or a new standard. One is the technology itself and how good it is, but the other one is how commercially uh, acceptable is it and, and is there anyone behind it? Now this technology is, is technologically sound because it's based on IPv6 and so IPv6 is well understood in the industry and so we can add not just Wi-Fi and, and thread over 15.4 but also in the future Ethernet and any other technology that can be IPv6 enabled. So it can bring together a lot of different technologies. Um, the, the bigger thing though on the commercial side is it has the backing of Google and Amazon and Apple and Samsung Smart Things and in the US Comcast. So all of these, all of these people and particularly the, the three big ones, they all have voice assistant, assistants in the field right now and they are saying they will upgrade those voice assistants as soon as matter is released so that you immediately have an infrastructure to connect other devices to. So that's really important when you're talking about the adoption of any new technology. Uh, you basically need to have an infrastructure in the field. So that means that you could use all of them together at the same time without having to use different smart words, different... Not just that. Not just that. The big thing is a consumer can go into a shop, can buy a light bulb or a, therm a thermostat and, and will not have to worry about, well, what gateway do I have back home? Yeah. They can bring it home if it's got a matter label on it, then they can connect it to an Amazon Echo, they can connect it to a Google Home Hub, they can connect it to anything that is matter enabled, and they don't have to worry as much. In the past, home automation has really been, been stymied by the, by the fact that you had so many different technologies and so many different gateways and so many different ecosystems that didn't talk to one another, right? Yeah. And now you have an ecosystem where everyone talks to everyone else. And, and immediately you will have an infrastructure where you can connect devices into your home. And right now there are 50 manufacturers going through certification with about 130 different devices. So straight out of the block, Matter 1.0 will have quite a lot of devices on the market very soon with an infrastructure already in place. So that's a great start point for a new technology. And for us as consumers, it's going to be make our life so much Absolutely. easier. <laughs> Absolutely. And if it makes your life easier, that means we'll sell more. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Yeah. So it's got to be good. So, so shall we uh, have a look at one of your demos here? That's right. That's right. So what products do you have for Matter? And can you show us something in action? Sure. So we have a demonstration here that includes light bulbs, includes a door lock, and also an occupancy sensor, right? Okay. One of the things about this demo, we don't just want to show matter working across multiple technologies. We also want to show that Infineon can provide a lot of different components for the smart home, including sensors and security, right? right. So in this, in this demonstration, we have uh, a simulated home where you've got the outside of the home, you've got a, a porch light and an occupancy sensor. You then have your electronic door lock and, and then you have an, in, an indoor light. And the idea is a very simple use case that you arrive at your front door, um, the occupancy sensor kicks off, so your door becomes alive, you open the door and that turns on the light inside. Very simple. But the point here is that the door lock is using Wi-Fi, the occupancy sensor is using our Wi-Fi, our, our 43012 uh, Wi-Fi chip, 
and the, the lights are using our, our new 3739 15.4 chip. So there are two different wireless technologies and everything is working across them. Um, I'd like to hand you over to Meenakshi, who has been uh, uh, working on this demo for the last couple of months, and let him show you how it works. Oh, fabulous. Oh. Minachi, we've got, we've got a little simulation here of outside, front door and inside. Can you just show me how it works? Yeah, so I'm walking in, in, into my door, so I'm just going to unlock it. So it detects this post light here, so post occupancy sensor, it detects me. And now I'm going to unlock it with the pin that I have configured. And it unlocks and it turns on my living room light as I enter. So that's the you know demo this is on wi-fi the thread that's on thread the light node so you see that the wi-fi node you know unlocks and sends the data to the thread node so that's how it works and then if you once the door gets locked it's going to you know turn off the light okay that's there we go. yeah oh, fabulous Thank so but I was uh, just talking to Dave here and saying what happens if there's a power cut does that mean you're locked out of your house well, uh, that's so. Once it's a power cut, this is, this door lock, this is running on a battery. So obviously the power cut doesn't matter. So yeah, so you will be still on board, and you can you can still get in, and you can use the cards. That's you know again a Infineon card. So you can use this card to get in without you know having to use your phone to talk to the router and then you know unlocking it. Yeah. Yes, yes, absolutely. Oh, yeah. fabulous. Well, thank you very much for showing that. Yep, it really thank you. It does look like something for the future. Yep, definitely, yeah.